The question, obviously, now with Xander gone and Mookie gone, now the attention is to Rafi Devers. So, Robin asked uh, Hein Bloom, he did a podcast with him, if he was more motivated than ever to not let Devers reach free agency. This is what he said. Short answer is yes, and we have been motivated. Um, look, every day between now and free agency obviously puts us closer to that time. Um, that's not to say it's all a one-way street, right? There's there's risk the other way, and sometimes you've seen in the history of the Red Sox, you've seen in some other organizations where longtime players do go to free agency and end up staying with their teams. So it doesn't always work out this way, but obviously you're introducing a level of risk, letting it get to that point. You know, my short answer to that is yes. Hmm. When I listen to him now, I, I I just I just hear blah 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 blah. Is that is that is that just is that wrong for me to give him a blah 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 hockey talk vibe? <laughs> because I do feel like I feel like I've heard it all before, and I go back to you know like you know when everybody was out in San Diego and the whole you know hot stove moment was uh, you know was was cooking. And, you know, there was all this momentum talk and intensifying discussions and all this other stuff. I just feel like it's all BS. Yeah, see, I would say um, I, I, I'll pretty much go on the record saying that my opinion is that Rafi Devers will not be here after this year if he's not traded before that. Be, and there's no inside information there. It's just that given what we just saw, Rafi Devers turned 26 in October. He'll play next year at 26. He'll be a free agent. At 26, his first year in free agency will be 27. He's going to want a 14-year deal. They all want to get paid till they're 40, 41, and somebody he will get it. We'll give it to him he, absolutely. And, so then, what's yeah. the play then? So if that because that is so the shrapnel effect is that uh, you know Devers is probably sitting there going, huh? Okay, um, I'm younger than him. I haven't accomplished as much, but hell, I see what these other guys are getting. And what leads you to believe? Because if that's the case, the, the, the Red Sox should do it now, like right now. Just get it right now. Start, start get the clock running. Start it while he's early, or or, or just gonna the same thing is gonna happen. It'll be a, it'll be John Lester, uh, Mookie Betts, uh, Zandy Bogart, Rafael Devers. It'll be a whole line, a whole succession of players that were were homegrown talent that were shipped out because they didn't want to pay him. Christian, though, with the uh, track record that Bloom in this front office has, if you look at what they just went through with Xander, if they offer something to Devers now, is it possible Devers looks at that and goes, huh, they're probably lowballing me. Oh, they I definitely I could probably are. get so much more out I'll there. I'll wait. I'm well, going to yeah. bet on myself like Xander did. Yeah. And so, you know, do you go to him now? Yeah. But it better be real. Like, and I'm talking 12, 340, something in that range, and he might laugh at you. You know, a 12, 360, maybe, something in that range. Because if you don't want to pay him till he's 40, 41, well, then you better be willing to pay him till he's 37, 38. Feel much better. I'd feel much better about that. I'm just saying, like, it's like, you know, people are like, just give him 10 and 300, let him move on. Why would he want 10 and 300? Why would he want to be a free agent at 37? Someone's going to pay him till he's 40. So it's 13 years, 14 years, you know? So it's, oh, so, man. okay, so maybe the final number for Rafi Devers ends up being, you know, 13 years, $400 million. Well, okay, well, I don't know. Try to get him for 10, 340, 11, 360. I, I, I'm just saying, like, make a real offer. And, and if he just out. sort of laughs at you, yeah. then I would trade him. Yeah. And I don't want to. I think it'd be a mistake. But if you're not going to go that far, if you're not in the business of paying a guy for 11, 12, 13, 14 years, then you're not in the Rafi Devers business. I think that is the key. You you have you have to find out like you know how serious they are, right? And if and if you if you give him this obnoxious offer and you you know and you make it really hard for him to turn it down, and they still turn it down, then you know that what the number that they're looking for is ridiculous. And who really wants to go there? Let him go get it. And then trade them. So I feel like that's that's a really obvious way, easy way to figure out what their real intentions are. Oh, I want to be here. I want to be here. No, you don't. Like I, I do feel like you're operating from the perspective you personally, Christian, of like you don't want Devers long term. Well, you I am on record. It, you don't believe in his body type. Nope, I don't. I don't believe in his discipline. I don't. I think he's obviously a great baseball player, but in the long haul, you give that guy uh, a golden parachute, a golden safety net like that, like he's Pablo Sandoval. That's that is my comp. He is a Pablo Sandoval, belt busting, overweight, lazy, just get just complacent, 
And if you don't have somebody pushing him every se- – he's Trent Brown. Like, you don't have somebody pushing him. <laughs> you don't have somebody <laughs> pushing him. He's not Trent Brown. Well, many the- of us probably have 17% body fat. You know, I, you, I, you don't agree with me on this. Like, I, I would, this is such a buyer beware situation with him. It could be. Like, he needs to be monitored, coached, encouraged. And I feel like when guys have to be monitored and coached and encouraged to get to that big contract, once they get it and it's guaranteed for the life of the contract, you sit there and go, well, I mean, I'll sleep in today. Eh, I'm not going to do my pregame workout today. That's good. Yeah. You know what? That's Those donuts are really yeah. good. Two is better Two is better than one. Well, I, listen, whether you think that – it's a bad investment or not. I just think you should. You got to be honest with yourself before you can be honest with the player. Like, if you're not going to go 10, 11, 12 years, 13 years for a player, then you're not going to sign Rafi Devers. And right now, you sort of look at it and say the criticisms you have afterwards, nobody wanted Mookie to go. But you hear people say, well, I mean, if you're going to, if you, if you knew you weren't going to keep him, you should have traded him at the deadline and got more. And if you knew you weren't going to extend yourself to keep Bogarts, then you should have traded him at the deadline. You know, and, and and moved on because now you're going to get a pick between the fourth and fifth round that's for the, Xander Bogarts. That's the total fence sitting mentality, though. Whether that's from Heim or from ownership, they won't make the heartbreaking decision of trading somebody like Xander in the season to get something of real value back. But it's like they're hands off. Well, whatever happens, happens, and then blame it on. Well, we were never going to do eleven eleven years, and it's like, well, you weren't proactive at all. And so then you became a fence sitter who watches this play out. You weren't proactive in making a decision one way or another. You middled it. And then he just walked away and you have nothing. Mm. Yeah, nothing else. Just at least try to offer him, I don't know, four and whatever, 140. And be like, here, you can be a free agent at 31 again. You know, but be honest with yourself. If you have this philosophy. I like that better. Yeah, if you have a philosophy that you are not going to pay somebody chance, 11, 12, though. 13 no, years, then you're not in the Rafi Devers business. No, and and as hard as it might be, going back to that quote that from Hein Bloom talking about, I know I'm going to get some bleep, some crap, but I still got a, your belief system, then then that's that's the move. If this offseason has showed me anything, if I'm Devers, if I'm anyone who represents him. If 41. I'm, okay, like, yeah, I'm sitting there going, even when I think about like the offer, which would be ridiculous, if it doesn't hit forty one, if it doesn't hit thirty nine, I'll wait. Thirty nine like, years wait. old. Like I'll wait. Like the numbers are ridiculous. The desperation is at an all time high. Like the money's not going. They're not going to have, have less money. They're going to have more money to spend. Like so, to me, to me, it, it seems, man, I, I feel like that is your only option. You go at him. You go at him with a legitimate, real, s- real offer. None of this, like, Lester, Xander. I don't want to do 7, no, 250. No, no, Just do it. Or do or it and seven, get it over. 200. And then, then let him go out and gamble and try to get more. And then that's it. Yeah. Well, well, let we'll some see. other team have his race. We'll see. They're in a weird spot right now. So there you go. See, that was fun for me. Yeah, it was. I feel like that was <laughs> an a, hour of baseball. Yeah. Are there, uh, there is an update. Uh, I just saw this. Uh, the Boston Herald is now accepting applications. Perfect. For a new Red Sox beat reporter. Really? Well, you, yeah. That's it. You want, I have an application. Can like, I just do to, videos? You want me to send it to or you? Or do I have to actually write? They, they said something about... Mego, can you help me with this? Like, I would write? recommend you do not apply for the show. No? Why? <laughs> Will you bring your dog? Do a little walk? It'd be a whole thing. Anybody got anything out there for me to do? Call up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, listen, let's get to some Pats talk, shall we? Big game here tonight against the Arizona Cardinals. We'll dive into Pats cards next.